Okay, so an update on my Harbor Freight 6 by Oh no, wait, this isn't an update. This is a special. This episode, you will learn how to make your own sphagnum culture. These are some of the ones that I've started. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow, that's a lot. We're going to just start a 10th one today. These guys were started in April with just like three or four strands of live sphagnum each. This guy was started with pretty good amount of live sphagnum back in like June or July. These were started a bit later than the big ones, so probably, yeah, June, July. Um, this one I just started a few weeks ago, and this one I just started today, and you can see some red sphagnum in there, so it will be interesting to see if that takes off. Um, the materials we will need are just a bit of dry sphagnum. You can get this at Home Depot or Lowe's. The brand I use is Mosser Lee. A lot of people like hate this brand to death, but I don't find any problem with it. Like there are some sticks and everything in it, but you just wash it first with reverse osmosis or distilled water and it's fine. And just pick out all the sticks and clumps. And, um, this has some perlite in it, but I just grabbed it from a Nepenthes pot because it ran out of this stuff. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need maybe like an inch or something in the bottom. You can also do this with peat moss, which is dead sphagnum decomposed, but I don't, I've never tried that, so I'm not sure how well it would work more than like this. Um, another thing you'll need, the biggest part, is the live sphagnum. Um, you can get this, well, there's one vendor online that sells it sometimes, uh, California Carnivores, that's the only one I know of that's a, you know, trusted vendor. Um, you can also get a ton on eBay, but you have to be very, very sure what you're buying is live sphagnum, because I've seen a ton of listings on eBay for live sphagnum that is just, like, crap moss, I don't even know, it's like, nature crapped some stuff on the ground and it like turned into moss. I don't even know. Um, so you just got to be sure what you're buying is what you're actually wanting. Um, so what you need to do is take the live sphagnum and put it in here basically. Uh, on the websites that I read on how to start it, it says just chop it up into little pieces two centimeters in length and place it all around the... But it gave like a weird ratio and everything. Like, I'm not going to put that much effort into it. So, I mean, you can just use like regular sized strands. You can also break it up. So, here, let me see if I can hold that on my knees and kind of... Okay, that works. So... Just break it up into little pieces like that. Um, one more thing to add. Um, the live sphagnum you want to use is probably the most common kind, but they do sell like compact species, which grow much more compact and slower, I think, than species like this. Um, so it will grow slower, but it really depends on what you want to grow. Um, compact species are used for uh, not growing over the Nepenthes in their pots or whatever carnivorous plant you want to use. Um, so I have a little more than what I actually need to use. Um, this is basically, a, this is more than enough that you need to use. Just, you know, place it around and once you're done with that, you can add a bit of water. I'm just gonna like waterfall this from up here. Magical. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see. You want the water level to come up just a bit below the surface. If you have it coming up like submerging parts of the moss, the moss will just start decaying. So this actually might be a little too much. Um, let's just pour this into the ground. Just, you can probably see that. It just comes up about halfway, so not too much. 
Oh, this could actually use a bit more moss, probably, because I see some of that's going to start decaying because it's too low. Some of your moss that you put in will decay, but, you know, can't do anything about it. Heck, let's just put it all in there. That will be fun. Veal spas. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so it's all in there. Oh, wow. I was just... You were watching the ground while I was in there. That's a fail. Oopsie. So we have some leftover of this. Let's just, like, throw it in the air. Leave it over there. Fun. Okay. So, um, for lighting, I grow mine outside, but it's in a greenhouse where the humidity is really high. If the humidity is too low, the moss will turn black. Um, so... Yeah, the humidity in here is about 70%. You can grow this in a terrarium, but I find it grows differently outside than in a terrarium. And I think sphagnum needs like a se seasonal temperature change because it's temperate. So like it can survive temperatures in the hundreds and temperatures below freezing. In the winter, it slows down a lot in growth and sometimes it can even turn brownish, more brownish. Um, I've only been growing mine for like half a year. It's how long I've been in the hobby. Well, not half a year, but maybe like nine months. Uh, so right here, it's evening now, but it gets a lot of sun in the day. Just this side of the greenhouse. So, let's move these over. This doesn't even need to be filmed. I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay. So just... Make sure all of the moss is level so it's like the water doesn't like go to one side because then you'll have like weird growth on one side and then just a little on the other. And yeah, um, you can fertilize it. I do fertilize mine. I use maxi fertilizer. I forget what the ratio is. I think it's like, you know, I don't even know. Um, I'll put it in the video description, but just spray it once. I, I spray it when I spray my Nepenthes once every like two weeks and yeah but you, you ought to be sure if you're fertilizing it that you drain out all of the water and replace it with new water before you do your next fertilizing so maybe like between the fertilizing so if you do it every two weeks do it like drain it between fertilizings so like that week like you fertilize and the next week you drain add new yet yeah, you get it but oh uh, yeah so these are the two that i've just started i will post an update in a few weeks to show you the growth on those and yes that is about it so i'll see you in a few weeks unless i post another video of my nepenthes by then okay bye